Hey guys. Welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see about troubleshooting connections to your PostgreSQL instance. Troubleshooting connections to your PostgreSQL instance. Topics. Error, fatal, database name does not exist. Error, could not connect to server, connection timed out. Errors with security group access rules. Error, fatal, database name does not exist. If when trying to connect you receive an error like fatal, database name does not exist, try using the default database name postgre for the name option. Error, could not connect to server, connection timed out. If you can't connect to the DB instance, the most common error is could not connect to server, connection timed out. If you receive this error, check the following. Check that the host name used is the DB instance endpoint, and that the port number used is correct. Make sure that the DB instance's public accessibility is set to yes, to allow external connections. To modify the public access setting, see modifying an Amazon RDS. DB instance. Check that the security group assigned to the DB instance has rules to allow access through any firewall your connection might go through. For example, if the DB instance was created using the default port of 5432, your company might have firewall rules blocking connections to that port from external company devices. To fix this, Modify the DB instance to use a different port. Also, make sure that the security group applied to the DB instance allows connections to the new port. To modify the database port setting, see modifying an Amazon RDS DB instance. See also errors with security group access rules. Errors with security group access rules. By far the most common connection problem is, with the security group's access rules, assigned to the DB instance. If you used the default DB security group, when you created the DB instance, the security group likely didn't have access rules, that allow you to access the instance. For the connection to work, the security group you assign to the DB instance, at its creation must allow access to the DB instance. For example, if the DB instance was created in a VPC, it must have a VPC security group that authorizes connections. Check if the DB instance was created using a security group that doesn't authorize connections from the device or Amazon EC2 instance where the application is running. You can add or edit an inbound rule in the security group. For source, Choosing my IP allows access to the DB instance from the IP address detected in your browser.